Hello, I want to speak about fear. There are many things today that cause people fear. When you feel afraid, remember that nothing can take away the precious gift and assurance of your relationship with God. His forgiveness of your sins and your eternal salvation. These remain secure even when your world falls apart. In times of trouble, turn your mind toward God's promises, that he lives in you and his presence with you offers you power, love and a sound mind. God is sovereign over all circumstances and can handle all that you encounter. You and your loved ones are precious to him. In moments of worry and crisis, let these truths calm your heart and bring you renewed courage. Psalm 23 and verse four. Even when I walk through the darkest valley, I will not be afraid, for you are close beside me. This is a man who had experienced many trials and troubles, hunted by King Saul, and yet he could say that. And so can you. Psalm 27, verse 1 and 3. The Lord is my light and my salvation. So why should I be afraid? The Lord is my fortress, protecting me from danger. So why should I tremble? Though a mighty army surrounds me, my heart will not be afraid. Even if I'm attacked, I will remain confident. Speak these words out. Psalm 46, verse one. God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. Psalm 91 and four to six. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day. Do not dread the disease that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. In other words, you can protect it all the time, morning, noon and night. Isaiah 41 and verse 13. I hold you by your right hand, I the Lord your God. And I say to you, don't be afraid, I am here to help you. Isaiah 43 and verse 2. When you go through deep waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned. Not burned up, the flames will not consume you. <laughs> Isaiah 51 and verse 12. Yes, I am the one who comforts you. So why are you afraid of mere humans who wither like the grass and disappear? John 14 and verse 27. I am leaving you with a gift. Jesus said this, peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So don't be troubled and the world cannot take it away. Mm. Romans 8 and verse 31. If God is for us, who can ever be against us? Mm. God has not given us a spirit of fear and of timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 1 and verse 7. Be encouraged by these words and quote them out loud to give yourself assurance of faith.